This is Witchspace News for Friday the 11th of September 2020 ...I'm Commander Burr. In this weeks news ...Galnet bursts into life ...Narrative returns to the galaxy ...there's a community goal next week ...we have new details about Odyssey and more. If you enjoy this video remember to hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel ...that stuff really helps. After a not so subtle hint at the start of the week from Frontier ...Elite Dangerous had what is perhaps its biggest day for a very long time. Around 9am UK time on Thursday Galnet the long dormant in game galactic news service suddenly burst into life again and began reporting that multiple starports in imperial space had been attacked and were on fire. The initial report seemed to indicate Thargoid intervention and indeed the AXI did initially scramble their pilots to react to a new threat from the green meanies. The story however quickly began to change and rather than a Thargoid attack it appeared that the attack may have come from within. An organisation called the Neo Marlinist Liberation Army quickly claimed responsibility and the Empire began calling for independent pilots to aid in the emergency evacuation of four starports from within their borders. Upon arrival at the starports commanders were greeted with burning stations and significant damage but also the familiar Thargoid green caustic burns that we'd seen on stations after a Thargoid incursion. It was initially assumed that this was a bug from using legacy in game assets ...more on that in a moment ...but whatever the reason it wasn't just the stations that were ablaze ...the community reaction to the apparent return of narrative was ...as you'd expect enthusiastic to say the least ...station attacks were back on ...Galnet was alive. Frontier had said on Monday that they'd have something they wanted to talk about on the Thursday livestream and it was now apparent that ...as many had expected ...the thing they wanted to discuss was Galnet's return. However the return of Galnet and the newly attacked stations was just the start of it. In what was one of the best livestreams Frontier have ever done Community lead Arthur Tolmy and community manager Bruce Garrido began spelling out a plan for a newly created evolving narrative in the galaxy that incorporates Galnet, community goals and in game events and extends right into 2022. And the next community goal starts next week. Yes that's right next week. Whilst we can't be positive about what the CG will be about Galnet was again updated while we were making this video and it seems that new construction projects are incoming to upgrade some outposts to fully fledged starports to help deal with carrier refuelling requirements. This sounds a likely candidate but we'll see what next week brings. When asked about the green goop like damage on the burning stations Frontier only stated that everything that we'd seen in the events of the day was intentional everything. So it seems you're going to need your tin foil hat again going forward. Frontier clearly excited by what they had planned continued that they now have a dedicated team of developers in place for the planned narrative events and that the community team themselves have been personally involved in the development of multiple storylines that will contain plot twists and pivot points that should catch the community off guard and also provide opportunity for the community to steer where the narrative goes. In an expansion on steering the narrative the team also stated that the changing story would also provide opportunities to reshape corporations and markets and even the diplomatic landscape of the galaxy as we know it. And when asked whether the Thargoid threat would be included in the upcoming narratives the team would only say that in the forthcoming events they'd been careful to ensure that there will be something for everyone. The guys also stated that the upcoming events would not just reward with credits, materials and reputation but that other rewards are incoming as well. We can only speculate on what that might be but the obvious candidates are decals, bobbleheads and possibly skins etc. In any event it's all positive. 
It also seems that going forward we can expect seasonal events as well as story driven CGs. Arthur hinted that Halloween for example might be something to look forward to in game this year. Whilst Frontier have always maintained and here at the pit we've always believed that CGs and Galnet were not gone but were in fact just on hold it feels great to finally be talking about them again in a positive light. Whilst we're obviously excited about Odyssey and what that might bring to Elite to have Galnet and community goals off of their extended hiatus is not only exciting but it's happening right now. If you've not experienced burning stations in Elite before make sure you don't miss it. Check out Galnet in your right hand in ship menu, fit out any ship with economy class cabins and heat sinks and join in the evacuation. So with all that said Frontier then moved on to talk about Odyssey. Attempting to answer at least some of the questions that arose from the first Odyssey developer diary the guys picked up on some specific points with some real solid actual answers. I've linked below to the forum post that followed on from the livestream and that contains the full answers but I'll summarise here for you now. On the subject of planetary life in Odyssey they stated that the thin atmospheres Odyssey will introduce are not capable of supporting what we would consider animal life in a strictly terrestrial sense. Suffice to say they also can't sustain human life. However the life that we do find in the Odyssey expansion will not all be strictly plant life either but rather what Frontier are calling organics. They further elaborated that you can expect fungal, chemosynthetic or even bacterial life but also others that defy any regular terrestrial classification. Based on that description I wouldn't expect to see anything walking about but it's apparent we're going to be seeing life that is certainly outside of our realm of experience so far. The team then goes on to explain that the huge diversity of life we'll encounter in Odyssey will be driven by a planet's chemical and atmospheric makeup as well as the geographical positioning of the life on a given planetary body. On the subject of Odyssey's new planetary rendering tech I was very pleased to hear Frontier confirm that the new rendering technology will most definitely extend to all the existing planets in the galaxy so your current favourite landable will be getting a significant makeover even if you don't own Odyssey. And on the subject of spacesuits and those shown so far there are multiple spacesuits coming to Odyssey so far they've shown only just two. The differences in the suits extend beyond just cosmetic and will in fact be tailored for different activities in the game. Also each suit comes equipped with a flashlight. And finally as if all that wasn't enough the next dev diary has been filmed it's in the editing suite at the moment and it will contain new footage from the inside of an Odyssey starport. All in all it was a massive exciting and unexpected day and there was a huge amount to take in. We firmly believe that with everything we heard yesterday and everything we now know about Odyssey now is a very exciting time to be an elite player and if you've been away from the game for a while then there's never been a better time to come back and reacquaint yourself with the best galaxy in gaming. But what do you think? Did you see any of this coming? Are you excited for what the future now holds and do you think you'll be helping to build a starport next week? Sound off in the comments below. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then, 07 Commanders, follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time.